Tonight, a family is sharing their anger and their heartbreak after a cyclist was run over and killed in Upper Marlboro last month. Greg McCullum was riding on Williams Beans Road on July 23rd when he was struck by a driver. As News 4's Mauricio Casillas explains tonight, his family is raising questions about the driver responsible and whether they'll be punished. This picture was taken in New Hampshire. It was our anniversary weekend. Countless precious moments with her soulmate. Tabitha McCollum dreamed of making more memories with her husband Greg, growing old together. But that was tragically cut short on the evening of July 23rd. The week since the deadly collision have felt like... A blur. Um, you know, there's, there's the adage, when it rains, it pours. I, I feel like this was a hurricane that hit our lives without any warning or expectation. Prince George's County Police say Greg was struck as he was riding his bike on William Beans Road. Tabitha says Greg became passionate about cycling about three years ago. But after she didn't hear from him after a few hours on that night, she knew something was wrong. Fear started setting in because I knew I've been married to Greg for 11 years. I knew his habits. I knew his ways, his steps. And I knew it wasn't like him. Just after midnight, police came to her home to tell her the news. Greg was gone. Tabitha says what the officers told her that night made her question whether the driver who hit her husband was impaired. But Prince George's County Police have said nothing to the effect. They say the driver remained on scene and is currently not facing charges, although the collision is still under investigation. He could just continue on his life as normal. Whereas, you know, we're over here dealing with real questions and grappling with consequences and really trying to understand and make sense of the magnitude of the hurricane that hit our lives. We heard this bang noise. Derek Rothschild noise. lives right by where the collision happened and knew Greg. He says he was stunned when he realized what happened. We heard the guy get out of the car and scream, oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. It's, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, because I know what it's like and I think about it every time I'm on the, bu on the bike. Greg leaves behind two young children who are still grappling with the tragedy. All of it just seems so unfair to me and to my family. Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Now, the family says they spoke with the state's attorney's office. That office told them um, that the collision reconstruction report could be completed soon. After that, it should be determined whether the driver faces any charges.